decided to create this video to see if the Max Lens mod would add anything to my running videos. I've decided to do side-by-side -side comparisons with the settings as close to each other as possible. Obviously on the GoPro it has to be linear and horizon leveling, whereas on Max Lens mod I'm able to benefit from Superview with horizon leveling and 60 frames per second on both the GoPro and the Max Lens mod. See what you think of the video side-by-side. My videos are about running, so that's what I've focused on. The key things for me are stability and a level horizon. If you look in some of my shots on the GoPro, actually some of the horizons are not that level. Whereas it seems on the Max Lens mod, I'm able to get a level horizon pretty much the whole time, which is brilliant. So just take a look and see what you think of each shot side by side. Let me know what you think in the comments below. just to show you how to remove the GoPro Hero 9 lens cover and place on the Max Lens mod. So I'll just take a moment here to show you. So you've got the current lens cover on there. And one thing I failed to recognize, and lots of videos failed to mention, is when you're trying to remove it, especially the first time, just apply outward pressure as you twist. And it just helps to release it and it should come off quite easily. Without applying the outward pressure, I pretty much thought I was going to break the lens or my fingers trying to remove it. So that's a key point to remember, just apply some outward pressure as you remove. And here we've got the little case which the Max Lens mod comes in, which is quite nice. And you've got a little lens cloth, so you can't have too many of those. So once you take the back off, you can see the little match up with the mount on your GoPro. You just line that up and I recommend keeping the cover on as you place it on just to keep the fingerprints off the lens. On there, I got the slight added complexity of having the wind jammers on here, it gets in the way of it, but it's just a price to pay and the wind jammers make such a difference that it's worth just keeping it on to so just line it up and just twist it through 90 degrees. Can't be a little stiff. There's no clicking, you'll just know it's there because it won't turn any further and it'll be nicely lined up in that corner. You know you're on, then you can remove the cover and then you are ready to go. One point to note that when you first use the Max Lens mod, it doesn't automatically pick up the fact that it has been added. You need to actually, actually you can see mine's already been enabled, but if you just swipe downwards, you can see the little icon. In the bottom right hand corner, and you can disable and enable. If that's not visible, you will need to go into your settings. Go down the right, go to preferences, and get mods, and in there you can show and hide that. I thought I'd give you a few final thoughts on the Max Lens mod whilst you watch a montage of previous video shot using the Max Lens mod. So I bought the GoPro Hero 9 to make videos of me running in nature on trails, capture my surroundings on the move and share them with you. For this I wanted smooth stable images, but this comes at a cost. The Hero 9 does hyper smooth horizon leveling, but it has to crop the image to achieve this. But what if I could have all three? And I wanted to see if the Max Lens mod would give me this. It does max hyper smooth horizon leveling and max super view, which is 14 millimeters or 155 degrees field of view. It makes the Hero 9 the most stable GoPro ever with its now unbreakable horizon, but it, it's not perfect. It's expensive at almost 90 pounds and you only get 2.7K and maximum 60 frames per second. I can live with the 2.7K. I shoot 2.7K 120 on the GoPro now already, but also this video is upscaled to 4K. You can decide if you think it looks okay. But the max 60 frames per second is upsetting for me because I love to shoot slow-mo. It can't be a good slow-mo running through nature. 
if they were able to provide 2.7K and 120 frames per second, I think I might leave the Max Lens mod on my GoPro permanently. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.